Hi, I'm Lou, your product manager at Hireme. I understand that the job market can be daunting, and many of you are still in school searching for an internship or freshly out of school with little or no experience to work with. That's why in today's video, I'll be taking you through what counts as work experience on your resume. Work experience on your resume typically includes any paid or unpaid positions where you have performed a task, gained skills or acquired knowledge relevant to the work you're applying for. Here's a breakdown of what generally counts as work experience on your resume. Full-time employment. This is the most common type of work experience and it includes any jobs for which you have received compensation. This ranges from internships, temporary or contract work, and permanent roles. Next, we have part-time jobs. Part-time jobs such as working in retail, food service, or as a tutor can be included on your resume. Internships. Both paid and unpaid internships are valuable work experience to put in your resume, especially if they are relevant to your career goals. Make sure you highlight the skills and responsibilities you gained during these positions. Volunteer work. Have you ever volunteered at your religious or community center? If you volunteered for an organization or a project, and gain skills or experience related to the job you're applying for. You can include this on your work experience. Your focus should be on the tasks and accomplishments that are relevant to the positions you're applying for. Next, freelance and consulting work. Think back to a time where you worked as a freelancer on a project or were consulted because of your expertise in a field. For example, have you helped your aunt create a Facebook page for her business or your dad fixes TV. List these experiences, highlight the projects you completed and the skills that you developed. Extracurricular activities go a long way. Have you participated in clubs, student organizations or extracurricular activities that are relevant to your desired job? All these can be included as work experience on your resume. Emphasize any leadership roles or accomplishments. Research projects. If you've been involved in research projects, whether as a student or in a professional capacity, and the work is relevant to the job you're applying for, feel free to include it in your work experience section. Next, independent projects. Have you undertaken independent projects in the past, such as starting a small business or developing an app? These projects can highlight your skills as a self-starter or entrepreneur, and you should include them on your resume. And that's it. You should be well equipped to start building your resume now. Use the inbuilt resume builder on HireMe to get started. Remember, when listing your work experience on your resume, be sure to include details such as job titles, the name and location of the company or organization, dates of employment, and specific responsibilities and accomplishments. In our next video, I'll be taking you through how to tailor your resume to the specific job you want. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get more information on more tips to help you get started. See you next time.